Hello! I am here to show you guys a trick that I uh, sort of sussed out when I was trying to prevent soft locking in the seed that I designed. So here we go. I was pretty worried about people altaring out of the Ginso escape since it was pretty much one step away from requiring people to do the insane path Ginso escape. Um, so here's what I was worried about. Start the escape. Get some water. And you're like, try to jump over here and you're like, whoop, nope, can't do it. So if you get something like that, I'll tar out, do some other stuff. Then go back to the Ginso tree. Yeah, congratulations, this is your life now. Well, think you can all tire out of this? I had never tried. Oh no, you can't. Oh, you can! Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, either way, that's your life. Um, actually, since I all tired her there, I don't have to reload a new file to show you guys what you can do instead. There's an alternate solution to this problem. Well, uh, using dev stuff, I'll give myself backdash. So we can get there quickly. Because, uh, so if you want to practice this, um, getting yourself there with dev movement causes some really weird stuff to happen. So I would actually recommend getting there with regular old movement. And by there, I mean under the kill plane. It looks like if you climb the Ginso tree regular, oops, you know, with skill, um, you can find yourself underneath the kill plane of the Ginso escape water. It's uh, pretty intense, and you can actually like see the bottom of the kill box. We should be seeing it coming up here soon, actually. You'll see that uh, there's gonna be stuff falling around the sides. And actually, that line right there, that's it. That's the kill box for the escape water and we are actually somehow oh i that was almost too soon if you warp too soon through teleporters you can actually still kill yourself so you have to be careful about progressing upwards too quickly but pretty much we are still close enough to that rubber bandy chase point to sort of scare the kill plane upwards So, uh, this meant that uh, this part of my seed was actually not soft lockable if you were to think to do this. This also means that the uh, insane path um, is actually a little less insane now. Because one thing that was insane about it before was that using triple jump and no wall interaction to get up and away from water skip fast enough was I think impossible um, I don't remember if that's like truly impossible but it felt impossible um, and so then you would get up and you'd have to race the water still with only those skills and hopefully enough health to uh, damage boost your way through the very top uh, but instead 
uh, we can now do a version of that insane path where you start the water up and then you um, come back up through the bottom of the Ginso tree. For anyone who wants to design a seed around that, one way around this cheat would be to get them into Ginso via the teleporter um, and don't give them access to the bottom of the Ginso tree. Don't give them the water vein. And then you could still force the old insane path that way. I think. You might be able to make it halfway up that room and make the water rise un just enough. That would actually be something worth investigating. And we could do that after I demonstrate the end of the escape. So as you can see, it's really slow. Um, I think you can make it go faster by panning the camera up and down, because that might affect the kill plane behavior. But that also could be not a real effect. <laughs> oh, you still should be careful. So if you ever find yourself doing this in a rando, um, know that you're not truly stuck if you all tire out of the escape. Clearly, the higher you get in the escape, the better. And one place that's actually pretty useful to get to is uh, right at the end. Because if you get there, the kill plane actually moves at a fixed speed that's faster. It's supposed to pressure you to, you know, get bash up those lanterns. But if you can get to that speed change, when you alt and come back, the kill plane will just be gone. It'll have already just zipped all the way up the column. Pretty soon here, we'll see it speed up. Okay, maybe soon is relative, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that actually helps speed it up or not. One nice part is that everything dies as you uh, come up here. So I think it's going to... Oh, zip! So it is actually still there. And it did kill that spider. But it's going a lot faster now. You still can beat it if you're fast. And you don't want to do that. Because, you know, you don't want to die. And then you get to the top. Um, let's try that thing I was talking about. Because if you're doing the insane path, it's actually reasonable to get up here. The really hard part is getting up to the next level. So if you get up here... I have wall jumps, so it's kind of cheating. But maybe if you get up here... And you like triple jump. Uh, one, two, and then Altar. We might have moved the kill plane up high enough to uh, uh, reveal the teleporter. So let's check. Ooh, it looks like not, but check this out. The plane is almost moved. And you can altar. Let's go. We're going to make the end of this video a little bit of discovery. We might be able to actually repeatedly teleport. And move the kill plane up small increments at a time. Until it stops killing us. So now the line goes up to the... Okay, so now the line uh, rises up to the line of the teleporter. If it repeats the same thing, then we know we have not made any progress.
Yeah, it looks like we're not making any progress. Even though it does look like the kill plane is moving each time. Oh man, I'm having a hard time timing this. Wow. This is actually not working out this time. Ah, got it. All right, we'll try to check one or two more times. But it looks like uh, despite being alive for a short period of time, we're not moving the kill plane. And it's really, the, the timing for the altar is actually really weird. Oh, I think we're, we're, uh, yeah, we're not letting the kill plane move at all. Okay. So that was, um, I don't know what to even call that. Um, we'll call it the back of the Ginso escape kill plane trick. Yeah. Um, so that's all there is to it. So it looks like if in most situations, if you all tire out of the Genso tree, you can just go back through the bottom and back up and chase the kill plane all the way up. If you are attempting to do the insane path, you need to at least make it to that first column of the, of the escape. Um, probably with water. <laughs> Uh, which gives you one chance to jump to the center and one chance to jump up, which is pretty nuts. But if you can make it like maybe like two screens up and you get nervous about whether or not you can complete the rest under time pressure and you're willing to do that first part twice, then um, you can alt R and um, part way up and then redo the bottom part and it'll still make uh, the insane path easier. And if you want to enforce that people, if designers want to enforce people doing that first bit the insane way, give them the Ginso teleporter, but do not give them the water vein. Uh, so that's all there is for that trick. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will hopefully post some of the strategies that I used in my Plando uh, later on. See you later.